Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. DJI introduces Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom, a new era for camera drones. Beyond visual line of sight flights launch at Grand Sky. And commercial drone enables services revenue to reach $22.7 billion by 2026. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. DJI has introduced two additions to its Mavic series, Mavic 2 Pro with an integrated Hasselblad camera and a Mavic 2 Zoom, the first foldable consumer drone with optical zoom capability. The Mavic 2 incorporates the folding design of the Mavic Pro. The Mavic 2 has a new gimbal-stabilized cameras and advanced features like hyperlapse and active track, and offers a flight time of up to 31 minutes. The Mavic 2 Pro is the first drone with an integrated Hasselblad camera and houses a 1-inch CMOS sensor with a 10-bit D-Log-M color profile. Powered by a 1 over 2.3-inch CMOS sensor, the Mavic 2 Zoom is DJI's first foldable consumer drone with Zoom, combining 2x optical zoom with 2x digital zoom. Both cameras capture 4K Ultra HD video recording at a maximum bitrate of 100 megabits per second using the H.265 compression codec. An improved advanced pilot assistance system allows the aircraft to analyze its surrounding environment and automatically fly around obstacles without stopping. A redesigned remote controller features detachable control sticks for ease of storage and portability, and is also compatible with DJI goggles. The price of a Mavic 2 Pro is $1,449. The price of a Mavic 2 Zoom is $1,249. In the next Sunman Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. An RQ-4 Global Hawk assigned to Beale Air Force Base, California, landed at Alson Air Force Base, Alaska, for Red Flag Alaska 18-3, August 16th. The 12th Reconnaissance Squadron sent a team of pilots to RFA, to better incorporate the RQ-4's reconnaissance gathering capabilities into the simulated warfighting efforts. This marks the first time an RQ-4 has landed in Alaska during a simulated combat training exercise. Institute has been helping firefighters on wildfires in Oregon, providing information for fire suppression activities via its data collection, analysis, and delivery capabilities. Comprised of aviation professionals, Institute's mobile response team has been offering a Scan Eagle UAS to supplement manned aviation firefighting teams battling wildland fires. Scan Eagle is a licensed and approved UAS operating in full compliance with FAA regulations and with full approval of local, state, and federal fire authorities. The FCC has certified the Echo Flight radar developed by Echodyne. Previously available only for experimental purposes, the Airborne Detect and Avoid Radar is designed for integration into a wide variety of UAS platforms and provides a combination of C-SWAP range and accuracy. For organizations seeking authorization to operate beyond visual line of sight or autonomously, EchoFlight Radar is reportedly a significant step forward for UAS mission safety. On August 18, students from across the U.S. competed in the UAS for STEM Programs National Competition at the International Aero Modeling Center in Muncie, Indiana. The 2018 UAS for STEM Search and Rescue Challenge first place finishers were Macintosh Multi-Rotor Team from Peachtree City, Georgia. Second place finishers Quadbots are from Great Mills, Maryland and third place finishers St. Mary's Civil Air Patrol Squadron from Leonardtown, Maryland. Congratulations to Brandon Solon of Canton, Georgia, the recipient of the 2018 Dewey O'Broberg Junior Scholarship. Brandon attends Creekview High School. 
That was our unmanned minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Beyond visual line of sight, flight operations for large UAS have begun at Grand Sky. The commercial unmanned aerial systems focus research and development park in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson, Grand Forks Air Force Base leaders, legislators, industry members, tenants, and Grand Sky partner organizations gathered to celebrate the milestone at an event held at Grand Sky last week. Beyond visual line of sight flights at Grand Sky are monitored through a unique system that combines several methods of surveillance into one stream. One-way access to Grand Forks Air Force Base's radar feed is linked to locally installed ADSB Extend and FAA NextGen systems through Harris Corporation's Rangeview TM system to provide operators with real-time situational awareness of both manned and unmanned aircraft. Grand Sky was the first location in the U.S. to receive regulatory permission to host commercial beyond visual line of sight test flights for large unmanned aircraft. The approximately 36-month process was led by the Northern Plains UAS test site, which will now also aid operators seeking certificates of authorization to conduct beyond visual line of sight flights within the approved airspace at Grand Sky. Commercial services based on unmanned aerial vehicles, commonly known as drones, are growing in popularity for a wide variety of commercial applications. According to a new report from Tractica, global industries from agriculture to industry are harnessing the service provided by pioneering drone companies to save money and time while improving the quality and safety of tasks that have traditionally been handled by airplanes, helicopters, satellites, or manual inspections. Tractica forecasts the global drone enables services revenue will increase from $337.6 million in 2017 to $22.7 billion annually by 2026. The market intelligence firm anticipates that the three leading industries in the drone service market will be the film and media industry, the utility energy and infrastructure sectors, and the agriculture industry. Sander adds that the largest application markets for commercial drone services will include surveying and monitoring, mapping, and filming and entertainment. Significant opportunities also exist for inspection, aerial imagery, data collection and analytics, and delivery and payloads. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.